Welcome to Movie Caps. Today I will show you a drama, romance film from 1997 titled Good Will Hunting. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. Will Hunting is sitting in his house, reading a book. His close friend, Chucky Sullivan drives to his place to pick him up. Will joins him, they get in the car and leave. At MIT Professor Gerald assigns his students a theorem to solve by the end of the semester, adding that whoever solves it will have their accomplishment published in MIT newspaper. Will is a janitor at MIT. The given theorem is written on a board in the hallway. Will is quietly mopping the floor. After the students leave, he looks at the questions written on the board with wonder. Will and Chucky go to a bar, he is in a light mood, despite that, Will decides to leave early, he goes home and works on the theorem he saw earlier that day. The next day, he carries out his cleaning duties while solving the theorem on the board in the hallway. Will and Chucky are playing baseball, Will keeps hitting Chucky, complaining that he's crowding the plate. Chucky mentions going to a Harvard bar the following week, and Will seems to agree. Gerald is attending an MIT alumni reunion. His students come and ask him about the person who solved the theorem. He is surprised to see the solution written on the board. He asks different students if they solved it, but no one seems to come forward. Will, Chucky, Morgan, and Billy, are attending a baseball game. Will identifies one of the attendees as his childhood bully. They eventually leave to get food. While driving, they notice Will's bully misbehaving again. The group picks a fight with him and the cops show up and arrest Will. Gerald enters his class and notices an unusual number of students present. Everyone is curious about the person who solved the theorem. He asks for the mysterious person to reveal themselves but no one speaks up. Afterwards, Will is solving a question on the board and Gerald spots him. He harshly tells him he can't graffiti over there. Will walks away quickly. Gerald later looks at the board and realizes Will is a genius. Will goes to the Harvard bar with his friends as planned. Morgan makes fun of him for getting fired from his job as a janitor. Chucky flirts with two Harvard students and lies about having a history class with one of them. A man named Clark shows up, he starts to bitterly insult Chucky by showing off his knowledge of history. He belittles him for having little knowledge of the subject. Will jumps into the conversation, he outsmarts Clark and calls him out for plagiarizing his remarks on history and being unoriginal. Clark is left feeling embarrassed, he tries to hurl insults back at Will, but he handles the situation well and Clark backs off. Later, Skylar, one of the girls Chucky was flirting with, comes and talks to Will. She shows her interest in him and gives him her number, they discuss going out sometime. Gerald visits the buildings and grounds office in search of Will. He is told that he didn't come to work today. They could contact his parole officer, since Will got his job through him. Will is in court, justifying himself for hitting a cop. The judge says he has a record of misconduct. He also mentions Will living in different foster homes, he got removed from three of them due to severe physical abuse. His charges are not dismissed and his bail money is set to $50,000. Afterwards, he calls Skylar from jail and checks up on her, asking if they could hang out soon. He is taken to meet Gerald who offers to help him out on two conditions. Firstly, he will agree to work more on math, and secondly, he will see a therapist. Will takes the therapist part rather lightly. Will works on math with Gerald and they seemingly have a good time. He visits different therapists and struggles to open up. He keeps taking them lightly and mocking them. He doesn't listen to anybody. At last, Gerald decides to make Will meet with Dr. Sean McGuire, his roommate from college who is a therapist now. Gerald goes to meet Sean at work. They talk about how they haven't seen each other since Sean's wife passed away. Meanwhile, Will tells Chucky about his probation and counseling arrangement. Gerald convinces Sean to counsel Will, as he's exceptionally intelligent and worth a shot. He also mentions how they're both from South Boston. Will meets with Sean and he behaves casually. They discuss books and exercising, he's very conceited. He starts talking about a painting in Sean's office. He mocks his painting and ends up making assumptions and saying derogatory comments about Sean's wife, to which he reacts very seriously, reminding Will of where the boundaries lie. After Will leaves, Gerald genuinely tells Sean that he understands if he doesn't want to see Will again but Sean is ready to see him again next week. Sean stays up during the night, lost in his thoughts. Will and Skylar spend time together, she mentions her education and elite background and about going to Stanford to study medicine after graduating. They enjoy each other's company and have a good time. Will meets Sean according to schedule, and Sean takes him outside to visit the lake. He tells him, he thought about his remarks on his painting, due to which he stayed up at night and came to realize that Will is only a kid and he doesn't know what he's talking about. He knows Will has never been out of Boston. If Sean asked him about art, he could talk a lot about artistic literature, 
but he could not explain what it actually smelled like in the Sistine Chapel or how beautiful its ceiling was in person. If he asked him about women, he could talk plenty, but could never know what it was like to feel truly content in someone's presence. If he was asked about war, he wouldn't know the first thing about experiencing one. He doesn't know real love or loss because hasn't experienced any of it. While talking, Sean mentions his wife dying due to cancer. He doesn't perceive Will to be a confident man, he is just a scared kid trying to act tough. He presumed everything about Sean's life by looking at a painting. He knows Will is an orphan himself and went through tough times, so can his life be understood by reading Oliver Twist? He can only understand him if he's willing to open up and talk about his experiences, but he sees that Will is too scared to open up. Sean leaves and everything slowly sinks in for Will. That evening Will calls Skylar from a payphone while it rains heavily, she picks up but he doesn't say anything and ends the call. Will meets with Sean for their therapy session, he remains quiet throughout and leaves when the time is over. Sean realizes he won't talk unless he wants to. Sometime later, Will is working on solving mathematical problems and outsmarts a polished and learned man with his answers. Gerald is impressed. Will finally starts talking to Sean, when he first cracks a joke. He proudly talks about how he went on a date, and didn't care to really check in with Skylar again. Sean calls him an amateur. Will insists that he knows what he's doing, saying she's different from other women he has been with. Sean says he should call her but he says he doesn't want to ruin what he has at present by getting to know her more because then their relationship will become dull and boring. Sean mocks him for his approach by saying that due to his behavior, he will get through life never really knowing anyone and mentions his own wife's little habits that only he knew about. They laugh together. He says these trivial memories are what truly matter and people choose who they let into their worlds. He reminds Will he isn't perfect, neither is Skylar, they just have to figure out if they are perfect for each other and the only way to find out is by giving it a shot. Will asks if he has ever thought about getting remarried but he shows his loyalty to his dead wife. Will uses Sean's own statement against him, saying that he will get through life never really knowing anyone. Will goes to visit Skylar and apologizes for ghosting her. He asks if they can go out again, Skylar says she is busy with university work, she has to assign the proton spectrum to Ivy Gammon. Will leaves and quickly returns with the answer to her assignment, saying he couldn't wait till later to spend time with her. They attend a dog race together, in which Skylar's dog takes part too. Her dog wins. She comes to know that Will grew up in South Boston and asks about his experiences growing up over there and about his siblings. He says he has 12 big brothers and Skylar expresses her wish to meet them. Will asks Sean if he regrets meeting his wife and he denies it, saying there are pros and cons to everything. Will asks when did he know she was the one for him and he quotes a date, showing how well he remembers everything. They met at a baseball game. Sean mentions the highlights of the game but later says he wasn't even there to watch the whole game because he was spending time with his future wife. Will mocks him for missing out on such an important event. He expresses no regrets for the time he spent with his wife, throughout his life. Will and Skylar spend time together and share intimacy. She asks him when he will show her his place and let her meet with his friends and brothers. He says he will take her to meet them. Chucky, Billy, and Morgan meet up with Will and Skylar. They tell each other funny stories and converse, but Will still seems reluctant to show Skylar his personal life. Chucky taunts him humorously, saying that if she saw his living conditions, he'd get dropped like a bad habit. Will manages to persuade him to give him his car keys. Gerald meets Sean to talk about Will. He says he should talk to him about his future, as he has been getting lots of job offers that fit Will's potential. Sean doesn't think Will is ready yet. The conversation gets heated as a conflict arises. Sean wants Will to figure out what he wants to do in life on his own and Gerald wants him to pursue mathematics. He says he sent Will to attend a job meeting. Will sends Chucky to the job meeting instead of him. Chucky behaves casually and leaves the people of the company confused. Skylar asks Will if he has a photographic memory, considering his intelligence and how something as difficult as organic chemistry is so easy for him, despite studying it only for fun. He explains how he is just naturally good at studies. They get affectionate with each other. Later, Skylar expresses her wish for Will to come with her to California. It gets serious, when Will clearly shows his fear of abandonment. He fights with her, angrily telling her about his traumatic past. He lied about having brothers, he's an abused orphan. Skylar tells him she loves him, but he says he doesn't love her, shattering her. Tom makes Will aware of how he should be appreciative of Gerald for working so hard with him. The situation gets tense when Gerald asks him about the job meeting. Will says he had a date and sent Chucky instead, Gerald isn't pleased to hear this. Will says he doesn't want to spend his life explaining stuff to people. Gerald says he could show some appreciation. 
Will brags about how easy the proof is for him, while Gerald struggles to solve it. He burns the proof as Gerald miserably admits Will has more potential than him, he is sad that he just throws it all away. Will goes to a job meeting for the National Security Agency and explains why he wouldn't work for them with a very witty and detailed explanation. Sean asks Will if he has a soulmate and he denies having one. During their discussion, Will gets defensive about how low-paying jobs aren't considered honorable. Sean understands there is honor in them. He tries to dig deeper by asking Will what he actually wants to do with his life, but Will just gets impractical again, and this time Sean simply asks him to leave because he won't tolerate his foolishness. Will and Skylar have a bittersweet phone call, he calls to check in before she leaves. She tells him she loves him but he doesn't say anything. He sits on a bench alone, while Skylar boards her flight for California. Gerald is frustrated about Will not showing up for his session with Sean. Will and Chucky are at the construction site. He makes Will realize how he's throwing away all his potential and being ungrateful for the intellect he has been blessed with. Sean and Gerald have a fierce argument over Will, with Sean defending him by saying he has suffered from the fear of abandonment his entire life, he is emotionally scarred. Gerald only wants him to pursue mathematics and Sean gets pissed off. They angrily yell and resent each other for their respective faults in the past. Will walks in and Gerald leaves. Sean mentions sending his file to the judge for evaluation. They talk about their experiences with physical abuse. He tells him he broke up with Skylar. Sean makes Will realize that none of what happened to him was his fault. He breaks down and hugs Sean while crying badly. Will rides the bus alone and spends time thinking. Sean and Will meet for their final session. Will mentions his new job which he got through an opportunity provided by Gerald. Sean gives him his number and they hug. Will turns 21 and his friends show him the car they built for him. They are happy together. Gerald visits Sean, they both apologize to each other and get past their grudges. Will drives to Sean's place and leaves a note. Chucky and the guys visit Will's place to pick him up and find him gone. Chucky is happy that he finally stepped out of his comfort zone. Sean reads the note and finds out Will ditched the job and went to see Skylar, it makes him happy. Will starts his life-affirming drive to California to start over with Skylar and take a leap into an unpredictable future. The end. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this.